common English mistakes with to from EspressoEnglish.net. It can be hard for English learners to know when to use the word to. Here are sentences with common mistakes and the correct way to say them. Don't say "I'm going to home" or "We're going to there." It's incorrect. With most places, we use "go to." For example, "I'm going to the party." Let's go to New York. He went to work. But there are exceptions with the words "home," "downtown," "there," and "somewhere." For example, "I'm going home." Let's go downtown. He went there. I want to go somewhere nice. You can see that we don't use "to" with these words. Here are a few more: abroad, upstairs and downstairs, inside, outside, and out. For example, I'm going abroad next semester. Let's go upstairs. Or let's go downstairs. He went inside. He went outside. Or he went out. Here's another place where you should not use the word "to." Don't say "We arrived to the airport" or "When will you arrive to Rome?" It's never correct to have the word "to" after "arrive." Instead, you should say "We arrived at the airport." Or more informally, we got to the airport. When will you arrive in Rome? Get to is a more informal way to say arrive, so that's why we can say we got to the airport. But again, don't use the word to with the previous exceptions, like home, there, and outside. For example, I got home at midnight. What time did you get there? The dog got outside again. Here's another mistake. Don't say you should to read more books. Don't say I must to take this medicine. Don't say she could to buy a car, and don't say we will to call you soon. Never use to after could should. Would, must, can, or will. So the correct way to say these sentences is: You should read more books. I must take this medicine. She can buy a car. We will call you soon. After could, should, would, must, can, and will, always use the base form of the verb. Don't use to. You should use to after the words need. And able. So another way to say I must take this medicine is I need to take this medicine. They mean the same thing. Another way to say she can buy a car is she is able to buy a car. Again, the two sentences are equivalent. Another mistake I sometimes see students make with the word to is after the word prevent or stop. For example, don't say the locked door prevents or stops people to enter. The correct structure is this: the locked door prevents or stops people from entering. After prevent or stop, we have a person or an object, and then from plus the ing form of the verb. The locked door prevents or stops people from entering. Never use to after the word let. For example, don't say the boss lets us to leave work early. It's not correct. The right way to say it is the boss lets us leave work early. After let, we have a person, us, and then the base form of the verb leave. The boss lets us leave work early. Now this is the most informal and most common way to express this sentence, but you could also say the boss allows us to leave work early, or the boss permits us to leave work early. With the verbs allow and permit, we use to, 
but with let we don't use to. We only use the base form. Now here's a place where students often forget to use the word to, but it's actually necessary. Don't say I like to listen music. You need to have the word to after listen. I like to listen to music. However, don't use to after the verb hear or see. For example, don't say I heard you to call my name or I saw him to take the money. You don't need the word to after hear or see. So the correct sentences are: I heard you call my name, and I saw him take the money. If you'd like your mistakes corrected, join one of my courses that include feedback. Those are the Vocabulary Builder course, Phrasal Verbs in Conversation, the Idioms course, my Advanced English Grammar course, and Everyday English Speaking. Each of these courses includes a writing or speaking task where you can get my feedback on your English and corrections. Click on the link in the video for more information.